Let's talk about your immigration interview performance. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. In this video, we're going to talk about how you should handle yourself, how you should hold yourself out, how you should act as a human being when you're in your green card interview or your Nazi testing, your naturalization. And when you go into the room with the officer, you're going to be nervous. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows you're going to be worried. You're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to be having a lot of documents. But I want to talk about how you hold yourself. And I think that's a good way of thinking about it, holding ourselves. Because when you get in there, it's, it's pretty intense. You can be asked lots of questions. You don't know what's coming next. The officer is sort of in charge a little. And you've got to be really ready to react. So I want you to be confident. I want you to be strong. I want you to look the officer in the eye. When you walk into the room, if they offer you their hand, shake their hand. Otherwise, say hello. Don't be overly friendly. Don't be all chatty. Don't talk unless they ask you a question. Smile and be pleasant. Be very, very pleasant. Be cordial. Do not act like you're their best friend. Do not tell jokes. Do not be all smiley, happy, ha, ha, ha. Instead, I want you to sit there and be focused and sit up straight. Have your documents to your right-hand side or your left-hand side, depending on what hand you are. Be ready to get those documents, but you're always looking at the officer. And when they ask you a question, you're looking right into their eyes and you're answering confidently. You're not going like this. Uh, mm, well, uh, I don't know. I think we met at a bar, but maybe it was at my grandma's barbecue. I don't really remember. We met on a boat on December 17th, 2022. See the difference? And that's how I want you to think about each and every question. I want you to be invested in this. I want you to be happy to be there. You know, this officer sees a lot of people. And it's interesting, having talked to a lot of people on my Immigration Answer Show, talking to a lot of people in the uh, office about their immigration situations, you really get to see that different people act differently. No two interviews are alike. So if you can stand out, for the good reasons, be confident and let the officer know that you're serious and that you mean business and that you expect for them to approve your case, you're going to have a much better chance than if you're nervous Nelly and all worried and going like this with your eyes all the time. How you hold yourself out is really important. It, it could be as important as the answers you actually provide because you know what? The officers can sense that. They can smell it. You're in a pretty tight space. They can sense fear. They can sense when someone's not telling the truth. They can tell if somebody's always looking to their spouse for the answer. Don't do these things. Be normal. Act like a normal person. Act like it's a job interview. Dress nicely. Make sure you're clean shaven and, and that you're all ready to go, you know, if you don't have a beard. <laughs> and in any event, be strong. Be strong. You're going to get this immigration benefit. That's your MO. If they ask you 37 questions, you're ready for 38 with a smile on your face. I have every confidence in you. I believe in you. I think you can get your case approved. I think you can answer the questions the way that I said. And I think that you're on your way to a good immigration outcome. If you need help with your green card or if you want to hire us to help with that or your asylum case, your citizenship case, call us 314-961-8200. Our email address is info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. If you're not wanting to hire us or thinking about hiring us, please don't call or email. We have lots of free resources for you, but the purposes of calling or emailing our office is to talk about hiring us to be your attorneys. Those free resources include our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. We'd love to have you join there. We have thousands and thousands of members talking about the immigration process. That's free. We also have our free YouTube channel where we post all of our new YouTube videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and that you turn on the little alert button, the bell, so that whenever we post a new video like this one, you'll get alerted. And of course, we also have our Immigration Answer Show, which is a show I do three or four or five times a week. And that's just me straight answering immigrants' questions for an hour for free. So lots of free resources for you. And the best one of all, our TikTok, at Immigration Hacking. We'd love to see you there, and we hope you have a great day.